You did it, you finally did it. The dang comments asking me why I'm harder on Tana Mojo than I am Gabby Hanna, they finally got into my head. But as always, it brings up some very important mental health topics that we need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I jump into this, and I'm going to be talking about a few different topics, and I'm gonna talk about unconscious bias, I'm gonna be talking about Tana, I'm gonna be talking about Gabby, and I think all the topics can help you no matter who you are. But before I get started, um, for everybody who signed up over on Patreon, no matter what tier you're at, even at $1, I just put up this month's Q&A. Go over there, check it out, put all your questions. And you guys, the reason I do this is because I get a ton of requests. So I have some requests up on the screen right now. I love all of you so, so, so much, but I don't have time to do them all. So the Patreon Q&A is a way to give back to everybody supporting the channel, and I can answer your specific questions. So if you wanna get in on this, like go sign up as little as $1, and I will answer your specific questions. Questions, all right so first I want to start this off with a huge 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 disclaimer like sorry about the title sorry about the title but if you've been around you know that's how I roll what I like to do since I know about you know psychology and mental health I'm playing into your negative bias to make you click on the video and clearly it worked so if you don't like that I don't know what to tell you. But I do want to make it very clear. I have nothing against Tana, and I think this video will clarify some things so you can understand. Um, but I think Tana can improve and can get better. But I do want to talk about what's going on. So this video is for anybody who can relate to Tana or can relate to Gabby, but it's also for anybody who has a friend like Tana or a friend like Gabby. Again, I'm getting bigger and YouTubers are starting to actually see my videos, but these videos aren't for YouTubers, they're for all of you. The first thing I wanna talk about is unconscious bias. Like, what I said in the intro, like, I'm serious, I'm serious. Like, I, I look at the comments and even though, like, I, I don't care all that much when people just come in and throw straight hate, like, when I see certain comments, like, I have to check in with myself. So something that's really important for all of us, for all of us, for me, for you, for everybody, is checking in with our unconscious bias. So I've noticed a lot that people seem to think that I'm hard on Tana, and then I notice that people think I'm being too easy on Gabby, and I'm just like, oh my God, am I? Like, am I? And it's something that we gotta check in with, you know what I mean? Because sometimes we're doing this like without even realizing it. And this is another another way that mindfulness helps you. It helps you pause and check in and say, okay, why am I treating these two people different? And in this video, I'm going to explain the, the cut and dry difference between Tana and Gabby. But it's something I want you to start working on. So something I wrote about in my book, Rewire Your Anger, like one of the sections is, treat somebody like you would treat somebody or something else, right? So something that I talk about in the book, and yeah, this is a shameless plug, but if you struggle with anger, go get the freaking book. Um, but anyways, something that I realized was, my sister, for example, we've never gotten along, and she struggles with mental, Ill mental illness herself, but how is it that I work with clients, or how is it that I work with all of you, and stuff that you say doesn't get under my skin, or when a client cusses me out, it doesn't get under my skin, I'm like, yo, do you wanna talk? Do you need to talk about it? But why can't I treat my sister the same way, right? So I'm constantly checking in with these things and saying, why don't I treat people the same, right? And sometimes there is a reason, sometimes there's absolutely no good reason at all. Like, if you wanna know what I'm talking about, like, for example, there's probably people in your life who say certain things to you, doesn't bother you at all. But for some reason, when like a friend or a family member, like somebody really close to you says that same thing, you lose it, right? Right? So it's something that we need to work on if we're trying to improve our mental health. But let's first talk about Tana, but I'm gonna share some of my experiences too. Like one of the reasons I talk about Tana so much and same reason I talk about like Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash is because I can relate. I can relate to Trisha and Jason's toxic relationship. I can also relate to Tana, okay? Because I used to be a screw up. So I'll never forget this, this ever. I will never ever forget this. It's crazy. You know how things happen in your life that you never forget? I remember I was in like 
second or third grade. And I was a little bit of a pain in the butt student. I was always messing around, talking in class, goofing off, all sorts of things, right? And then there was my friend who was like, you know, one of those goody goody kids. And me and him one day, like I kind of encouraged him to like, you know, mess around or whatever. And like, we goofed off and the teacher, you know, talked to us and I got in trouble and he didn't. And the teacher called my parents, okay? Mind you, this is like second or third grade. I still remember this. I'm 33 years old now, right? But I'll never forget what she said because I was like, why me? How come he didn't get in trouble? Why me? And the teacher explained to me, he's like, Chris, you're always causing problems, okay? Like your friend probably could have stood on the desk and screamed and I wouldn't have gotten him as much trouble. But they were like, Chris, you're constantly causing problems, so I'm gonna be harder on you. And I'm like, oh, dang, like that made sense. But it also made sense later in life, kind of. It made sense later in life now that I look back on it. But I was somebody who was notorious for being late to work. I was always late for work. I was always 10, 15 minutes late for work all the time. And finally they write me up and I'm like, well, well, what about them? They showed up late today, what, right? But Again, it's because I'm somebody who was constantly doing it and I was lacking that self-awareness, right? But like, let's think about this. Like, for example, when I'm working with clients at uh, the drug and alcohol treatment center I was working at, like I would be harder on people who came back in after multiple relapses and had been to treatment more often. I gave them more tough love than somebody who was coming into treatment for the first time because I'm like, okay, you've been here and you keep messing up. So I need to be harder on you. You see what I mean? But like, let's like, let's go a little bit more extreme. Think about people who go to court and see the judge. A judge is going to be more lenient on somebody when it's their first offense, right? Like that's just the way the world works. So I hope this is starting to make sense as I transition and start talking about Tana. So let's talk about Tana, okay? I've only been really into YouTube for the last year and a half or so since I started my channel. And since then, since then, like, let's talk about the Tana Mojo situation. First, two words, content cop, okay? Let's talk about that real quick, so content cop. But the next thing is, Tana did the same thing as Logan Paul. She filmed a dead body. We were like filming the whole thing. I'm gonna insert all of that right now. And I was originally just going to include all of those clips in a vlog, and then I was like, live footage story time. Now, I personally had to censor that because Tana didn't censor the body. I'm not joking, I'm not kidding around. Tana didn't censor the body whatsoever. Okay, I made a video that got a lot of traction recently where I, I showed video clips that Tana has on her YouTube channel talking about abusing prescription medications, okay? Like Adderall and Xanax. I take Adderall all the time, you guys know. So like, I'll take like a fourth of a 20 milligram pill, like five milligrams of Adderall. In my bag, everywhere I go, I always have a pill bottle filled with Adderall. Why does the bottle say that this is oxycodone? <laughs> And there's just, there's not even oxycodone in there. Like the pain pills in there were like hydrocodone. She put that online. Not only did she put that online, but she recorded her and her friends while she was driving. Well, she wasn't recording, one of the friends was, but she was in there with like Elijah Daniel and her other friends. And she was high as a kite on Xanax and then she crashed the car. Why does everyone think I would drive a car on Xanax? Because you, you are. are. <laughs> yes. what do you Why would everybody think that? Okay, so not only those examples, but TanaCon. TanaCon, TanaCon, TanaCon. Tana Mojo, out of spite towards VidCon, tried to put on an event that completely bombed and she pointed all of the blame at Michael Weiss even though her fans suffered. Not only did her fans suffer, but her fans are still backing her up. And what's Tana do? Tana is now selling those same people merch who are still out of money from TanaCon, okay? Like think about all these things combined with Tana Mojo. Are you guys following me now? Is it starting to make sense a little bit? Well, I'm a little bit hard on Tana. And the last thing I'll say is, the girl legit made a song about how she is a fuck up. All right, like this is something that she leans into and goes into even harder, okay? So now let's talk about Gabby Hanna. 
Let's talk about Gabby Hanna. Now that you see all of the things that we just talked about with Tana, and you know, there's probably things with Gabby that I don't know about, and for that, that is purely my ignorance, but from what I know about Gabby, all right, I've heard that, you know, some things, you know, she was a bad friend or something like that, or she played the victim or whatever, like, she was pretty problematic, okay? But then most recently was her Kenza Cosmetics thing. And I called her out, but I didn't go nearly as hard on her as I did Tana Mojo. But like, that's pretty much it. And aside from that, Gabby is also making content encouraging people to go, go get help for their mental health. She talks about her mental health. Sometimes she talks about like having a healthier lifestyle, whether it's eating or going to the gym or whatever, right? Like, I know Gabby recently had that whole thing on Instagram, and by the way, I'm going to do a collab with somebody this month, and I'm not gonna tell you who. It's gonna be absolutely surprising if we end up doing it. But like, just real quick, I don't really think Gabby was too much in the wrong for what happened on Instagram recently. But like, I want you guys to look at these two very different people. Why I'm harder on Tana than Gabby. Like, when's the last time Gabby went around driving under the influence, laughing about it and crashing a car? When's the last time Gabby filmed a body? When's the last time that Gabby threw on an event out of spite and screwed over a bunch of her fans and then tried to sell them something, okay? So I'm not saying Gabby's totally in the clear, but when you're comparing them, um, one is a multiple time offender, with worse offenses than Gabby Hanna. So I hope this makes sense. So the two things I want you to take away from this is, one, I want you to quit playing the victim like I used to, okay? I was a screw up and I had to quit saying, well, well look what they're doing, well, well, look what they're doing. That doesn't matter, that's what kids do. That's what children do. Like when I talked about Rice Gum yesterday and his whack apology and gaslighting, he's like, well, look at that YouTuber, they promoted it, look at that YouTuber, they, it's not about them. It's about you. It's about you. Like, have you ever seen somebody who's like speeding, right? And they get pulled over and they're like, well, look at everybody else who's speeding. Take responsibility. But the other thing is too, you need to start looking at who you're hanging out with, right? Like I'm more likely to hang out with somebody who like flaked on me that, um, instead of hanging out with me one time, then somebody who like completely like backstabbed me, okay? Like there's there's a huge difference there. So you need to start evaluating people. And like, like I always say, we have to judge people. The problem comes is when we unfairly judge people. So when we're checking in our, with our unconscious bias, I had to ask myself when you guys were leaving comments, like am I unfairly judging uh, Tana Mojo? Am I giving Gabby Hanna preferential treatment, right? But no, I have these memories locked in my brain and I evaluate these things and it helps me out greatly because it helps me decide who I'm going to hang out with but in the grand scheme of YouTube, it helps me figure out who I'm going to support. You, you see what I'm saying? So if Gabby Hanna ends up reaching Tana Mojo level, trust me that my tune will change, all right? But let me know down in the comments below, like do you find that you, you are easier on some people than you are others? Or like I mentioned earlier in this video, can somebody say something to you and it brushes off your shoulders, but when somebody who's like close to you, like a friend or family member says it to you, you just snap? All right, let's have a conversation down below. All right, and again, again, if you haven't yet, go sign up on Patreon with all the requests I get. I do a monthly Patreon Q&A. Go sign up for as little as a dollar. If you sign up for the higher tiers, you get more stuff. But anyways, that is how you will get your request fulfilled. All right, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And another thing, look at all these beautiful names on the, on the credits. These are all the patrons, as little as $1 a month and you get on this screen right here. But if you wanna sign up, link's right there, right below, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.